vibrant media that focuses on this problem on a day-to-day -day basis. It doesn't Hello sort of there, celebrate the latest Lake rich Brooke billionaire Ken? who sort of says, here's, I made a bunch of money and I have you ever heard like of WhatsApp did, where they basically, ABC's could basically create companies now and create wealth. Network well, show this, in this week country. And with George Stephanopoulos. That the Democrats and the Republicans well, here's a little bit of the totally show Wall Street, are totally in bed with the I'm watching and right I'm now. One, Take a look. Were smart, and Just for were smart, they would figure out a smart pop a little bit. speak directly to this message and figure out how to get us through it. You're saying the same thing. I yeah, am, and I think, so let's, let's do a little test. Will Republicans in the House, which they control in 2014, go after the big insurance companies, which have a total bailout, a slush fund, in Obamacare to insure them against any loss since they went along with Obamacare and are benefiting from it? Uh, will the Republicans go after, and they think they will, the Export Import Bank, 55% of whose loans go to Boeing? And will Democrats join them in these attacks on crony yeah. capitalism? They, they, those are tiny things. You should know that just by the numbers, those, those are, are tiny things. things. You, you, uh, but you yeah, they're not good examples. They're pretty much unique. I mean, you really look... No, great inequality in the United States is not created by government contracts. There is some of it. There is some abuse. There's, you know, there's people grazing on federal land without paying fees. There's coal companies extract. But that's actually not most of what it's about. And what the, the crucial thing is that Piketty is saying that unless you have active policies to combat concentration of wealth, it does tend to reach levels that are really scary. And I've got your populist Republican. It's called Teddy Roosevelt. Let's, let's go with him. Okay. we got to take a quick break. Before we do, take a look at President Obama in Japan this week playing soccer with a robot. Fun moment. In a trip that has been quite what the White House had hoped for, but the U.S. relationship with Japan has come a long way from the event that sets up this week's powerhouse puzzler. Here's the question. Japan formally surrendered to the Allies aboard what American battleship on September 2nd, 1945? Back in two minutes to see if the round table gets it right. This week with George Stephanopoulos, brought to you by Xerox. When I say Xerox, I know what you're thinking. Yep, that is what I'm watching right now. No. Oh, right. So, uh, You're thinking yeah. Daily oh, excuse me, my camera's shaking. There you go. Now it's straight. So, that's what I'm watching. I'm watching this week with George Stephanopoulos, just like you saw in the video. So, what can I do? Jobs, cleaner air, and Thanks. Have a good day. Oh, and by the way, a shout to you and your Lego Ken family. Have a good day, Lego Ken. I'll see you.